Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 152. And today's uh, vocabulary word for the day is concatenate, which simply means to stick things together, to stuff one thing on the end of another. A lot of times you'll use something like this when you've got patient names. You've got a last name and a first name, maybe a middle initial. You want to put it together with something like this. There are two different ways to concatenate in Excel or to stick things together. And I'm going to show you both of them. The first way is one I use probably more often when I only have one or two things to stick together. I'll do something like this to make Patricia Johnson work. If you do equals this and this and that, the and sign just sticks things together. The challenge with this is, you know, see how much nicer this looks with the comma and the space and the space between Mary and M? Well, we can do that. We can do equals A4 and, and then if you want to put spaces or commas or other things in between, you just need to put them in quotes. So we'll do a comma and a space and an and, and then B4 is the first name. Maybe after that we'll put a space, another and, C4. And now we've got something exactly like what we have above. And it works fairly well if you've got one or two things, but it gets to be a little bit hard to read because I got one, two, three, four and signs in there. It's kind of messy. There is also a concatenate function, and that's what I've used over here. Let me show you how the first trick may be to spell the stupid word concatenate. If you do concatenate, what you can do is you can do concatenate. You get close and you let Excel spell it for you. That's another way to do it. What concatenate will do is it will just let you put the text in there with commas in between. So we'll do that and a comma, and then we'll do it in quotes again, comma space, and then another comma. See, Excel is going to be able to tell the difference between this comma and this comma and this comma because the quotes in the middle are going to designate the comma that goes between the last name and the first name. So now what do I need? I need the first name, comma, and then I want a space in quotes, comma, and I need the middle initial. And now I've got something that looks similar to what I have above. And again, I can do this, copy down, do that, copy down, and they both work. In my mind, this is a little bit cleaner to read. It's take A4, put a comma and a space, take B4, put a space, C4. It's a little bit cleaner to read than that is. But sometimes if I just need two things quick and dirty stuffed together, concatenated together, I'll use the and sign instead. I wanted to show you both of them. Either way, it's very handy if you're doing things like um, patient names, physician names, referring physician names, those kind of things that are in your practice management or your EMR in separate fields. You dump them to Excel. Here's a way to combine them into uh, one cell that then you can sort and or pivot, you know I like to do pivot tables. You can pivot these a lot easier than you can pivot Smith different than pivoting Mary's first name versus Mary's middle initial. That's what I wanted to show you, the two things about concatenate. Stay tuned next time and we'll keep going on some more text related functions in Excel. Thanks for watching.